How's it going everyone? John here with Backyard Maine. Today I'd like to talk about receptacle orientation or the direction the ground is facing on your receptacles. Either up like this or are they facing down like this? Which way is actually correct? So I've had several comments on my other electrical videos discussing which way is actually correct. Is it called out by the code? Is it called out by the manufacturer's recommendations or maybe even NEMA? So in your house, maybe you have ground up or maybe you're seeing ground down or even a combination of both methods used. A common practice is to put a ground up receptacle for a switch receptacle. That is, you know, a receptacle that's controlled by a light switch. So if you have a room in your house where all the receptacles are ground down, but there's one that's ground up, chances are that receptacle is controlled by a light switch. So if you have a project you're working on, or maybe you're just wondering which way is actually correct, well, you've landed in the right place. So I've been an electrician for 38 years, and I've seen both methods used many times in residential, commercial, and even in industrial applications. So in this video, we'll discuss both methods. We'll look at the National Electric Code, we'll see what the manufacturers recommend, and then we'll even take a look at NEMA. And then I'll reveal which method is actually correct, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Hey, but before we get started, I would like to poll you for your opinion on the subject. This will be a great way for both you and I to read through the comments and get an idea of which method is most commonly used. So simply comment up for ground up or down for ground down. And to show my appreciation for you taking part, I'm going to give away backyard main stickers to three commenters picked at random. I also posted a poll on my community tab a few weeks ago, and that poll's had several hundred responses. I'll put up the results of that poll at the end of this video. Okay, we got that out of the way, so let's get started. So, which way is code compliant? The National Electric Code does not specify receptacle orientation other than to prohibit the face-up orientation in and under countertops. Now, this one's kind of obvious because no one wants a leak or a spill running into a face-up receptacle. So unless you have an orientation specified for the project you're on, or you have a local code which is different, any orientation is going to be code compliant. So you can install your receptacles ground up, ground down, sideways, face up, except for in and under countertops, or even face down, which is commonly used for garage door openers. Okay, so it's code compliant. But what about the manufacturers? Well, some manufacturers like Eaton display their receptacles in a ground up orientation, while others like Leviton will display a combination of ground up and ground down. But no manufacturer, to my knowledge, specifies orientation. If they did, by code, we would have to follow the manufacturer's recommendations. So what about NEMA? NEMA is the National Electrical Manufacturers Association, and they display their receptacles in the ground up orientation. Now, this would lead you to believe that NEMA would recommend a ground up installation, but there's nothing from NEMA specifying orientation either. So it sounds like it's up to us, but what are some of the arguments? The main reason for ground up installation is for safety or risk of fire. The idea is if a conductive object like a coin or a paper clip fell on a partially plugged in device, it would hit the ground pin and fall off to the side. On a ground down receptacle, that object could cause a short circuit and an arc flash between the hot and neutral blades of the plug, which could cause a fire. Now, someone I know had a piece of aluminum foil short out a receptacle in this way. It caused a big flash and tripped the breaker. No one was hurt, but it did give them a big scare. So a ground up installation would certainly add some level of protection against a short circuit. But ground up receptacles are not ideal for 90 degree plugs, which you find on many appliances. These were certainly designed for a ground down installation. When plugged in, you can see the wire is going up and then back down again. This adds stress to the cord and to the connection. So which method do I use? 
I use ground down for three reasons. First, the fact is today many cord and plug connected devices are two prong with no ground. For these it wouldn't matter because in either direction a conductive object could still create a short circuit. In number two, almost everything in new residential construction now requires arc fault protection. These devices are designed to prevent a fire by quickly opening the circuit, mitigating almost any arc at all. In number three, ground down was the way I was taught as an apprentice. And for me, a ground up receptacle just looks upside down. So, which way is actually correct? Well, much like electrical pigtails, the decision is up to you. And if you want to learn more about that, you're going to want to watch this video next. And I'll see you over there.